All right, next up, probably the best investment I've had all year, except for maybe Solana, although I kind of think Coinbase might have beaten it by now, but that is Coinbase. Coinbase has had an incredible story. It launched at the very peak of the bull run back in, I think it was November. What do we got here? This doesn't even show you. But anyway, somewhere around November 2021, maybe a little bit before that. But anyway, I guess this is saying April 2021 is when it launched. So it was the first peak. There was two peaks in that bull run. It launched at around 400 and... $24 and $30. And it's basically been town only ever since. And it reached sort of its bottom back in January 2023. And since then, it has been basically up only. Coinbase obviously has, we just did a pro part of this. So if you have not checked that out, make sure you check out our newsletter. The link is in the show notes below. And you want to go pro to see the, the Coinbase pro report where we dove into all the fundamentals. They are just an incredible business. They have Plenty of revenue streams that are good in the bear market, good in the bull market. They're just a dominant, dominant company in this space. And I think will continue to be that. So I'm very bullish on the fundamentals of Coinbase. But what I wanted to show here in terms of this chart was this inverse head and shoulders. Also another very common chart pattern, which generally has a pretty large breakout when it does break out of it. If I call it a head and shoulders because you have the head, this is inverse. So imagine this was flipped the other way. Basically, it's just you have a shoulder, then a head, and then a shoulder. And the, the chart pattern just kind of plays out that way. This is inverse, so it's flipped upside down. And then at the bottom of that, or at the top in this instance, that blue line there would be like the neckline, right? It's where the shoulder and the head, everything kind of meets up there. And so basically what happens is once it breaks through that, you take the length of the bottom, so the length of the head there to the neckline, and you can move that up from the, the neckline there, and it shows you how far it's likely to run. Now here, there's two interesting numbers here for Coinbase. So Coinbase is currently, it's even ripping today as I speak, uh, up 3.3%. It's sitting at $145. I bought this at $38 earlier this year, which was amazing. We put a call in the Pro Report newsletter at, I think it was around $55 or $56. And that was in like, I don't know, August, maybe a little before that. I can't remember. Now we're already sitting at $145. Now here's the thing. The neckline, so the, the resistance, I guess, was at $114. We smashed through that. Absolutely just ripped through it. Went straight to 145. There is no resistance until $210. And so I think we get there really quickly. As long as Bitcoin and ETH continue to go up, Coinbase is just going to fly up probably more than they will. Right now, Coinbase looks like a leveraged bet on ETH and or Bitcoin, whichever. It doesn't matter. As long as one goes up, Coinbase is making money from it, right? If Bitcoin goes up, Coinbase uh, has lots of Bitcoin. It facilitates the trade of Bitcoin. It is the uh, custodian for all the Bitcoin ETF issuers. So Coinbase is super bullish when th good things happen to Bitcoin. And then what are most of the assets on Ethereum or sorry, on Coinbase? They're Ethereum assets. Where is Base, the L2 that Coinbase launched? It's on Ethereum. So if Ethereum does well, well, Coinbase also does well. And even Solana does well. Coinbase does well because where do you trade and buy Solana? You often get in Coinbase if you're North American. It's like an ETF on the entire crypto ecosystem but then it also generates revenues. It's a pretty incredible investment. I think it quickly goes to 210. Then if we look at the, the pattern here that I was explaining from the head to the neckline, you put that up, it goes up to, interestingly, about 410, 400, and maybe it's 12, which is right about at all-time highs. Now, again, it's not going to jump there right away. It's probably going to have some struggles around 210 because it looks like there's a bit of you know resistance there. Uh, but again, I think it should be pretty smooth sailing to get to all-time highs as the, the Bitcoin ETF is approved and the broader crypto market continues to look bullish and improve. So look, it's had a big run. So like, should you buy right now? It's anyone's guess. Again, short-term stuff is not my forte. It's really not anyone's forte in this industry. You never know what's going to happen. But I think as long as nothing bad happens, like the ETF not getting approved, I think Coinbase continues to just go up. And I mean, where else can you get a stock that's going to run up? I mean, it's up almost 300% this year. Actually, it's up way more than that uh, year to date because we started down at, what, 38. So quite impressive. But anyway, I think it's still going to go up quite a bit over the next you know few months. So probably still a great investment there. But who knows in the short term, just because it's literally ran up so much. If you look at this chart, every week is just crazy green candles upwards. So it's been a wild ride. But that said, an amazing, amazing company. And a very important one for this industry. We want them to do really, really well. Thank you for listening to Web3 Academy, your one trusted source to capitalize on the next big phase of the internet. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and subscribe or follow so that you don't miss the next one. While you're at it, there's a link in the description for our free newsletter where we provide timely, 
and relevant Web3 insights so you can confidently build and invest in Web3. Make sure to subscribe today. One final note. This podcast is for educational purposes only and nothing we say is financial advice. Crypto and Web3 are risky and you should never invest more than you're willing to lose. Thank you, friends, and see you in the next one.